Hey guys, welcome back to Aero Console in January February 2023 update. On the last video, I said 2022 update, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just got used to say 2022. But I know you guys know it's 2023, not 2022, right? Well, let's just get into the story already, shall we? And it's not at the gym at first. Well, why do I know? Well, I don't know. Don't ask me why. Hmm? Perhaps I should hold my strength not to hit the tree directly. I don't want to harm it because of my practice. Mr. Arts. Mr. Not Marshall, huh? Like arts for adults? Something like that? Freckle runs into the thug, practicing at the park, and promises to help him find a new job. New job? What about a tender? So hard. Strolling in the park in this boiling weather was a huge mistake. Yeah! Hmm? This voice. Is that the thug? And why does he keep throwing fits at the tree? Has the heat turned him mad? Yeah! You might want to go easy on that poor tree, or both of us are gonna get into trouble with the warden. Freckle, what a pleasant surprise. And you still wear your armor in this heat? Oh my, I feel burning hot for you. What brought you here, my friend? Trying to cool myself off. Also, I need to stay out of the drama from Aero Condo for the moment. <laughs> so you are avoiding working again. That's not very nice, my friend. Sumi. What about you? There must be some reasons for you to be out here smashing streets at this hour. I've been wondering about my martial art skill lately. So I did some practice to see if they were still as sharp as I thought. As you notice, since I came to your world, I rarely do any training. Wow, so disciplined. Meanwhile, I can't even keep up with my workout routine. Yeah. Unless there is a war going on. There is nothing else in this world for a soldier like me to do. And I don't think spending my whole day at home reading poems and drinking is a good idea. Yeah, I don't like seeing you become a junkie either. What about the button of work that I introduced you to? Still going well, I assume, since Siki is now taking charge of that place. So basically, right now, you have a lot of free time on your hands. And don't know what to do next, so you just come out here and punch trees? What a shame to admit, but yes. Is there anything you can help in finding another work for me? I know that's a selfish request, but now you are the only person I can rely on, Freko. Funny, while I try to break free from the capitalism, you want to become one of them. Alright, I'll see what I can do. As for now, enough with destroying public properties, DT. Let me take you to a proper gym. So what work does so desire? I wonder. And to the proper gym, as Freckle said. Eh? How many sets did I do on this hand? Can't you remember? Mr. Hui was not happy because he still has not found the martial arts teacher he needed. Thankfully, Freckle was there and saved the day. The conversation with the thug last time really affects me. His enthusiasm is the push I need to get in shape. I should find a proper job for the tea as a thank you. Come to think of it, hmm, what kind of job would be ideal for someone like the thug, I wonder? Yeah. I'll be damned, look who finally decided to come back here. You've been gone for weeks, I thought you gave up on yourself. But I came back, didn't I? At least you should give me some credit for that. <laughs> give me a break. Now you demand to be praised for hitting a gym once in a while? What are you, a spoiled brat? You were kinda hunky back then. Now look at you. You turned into the wink. 
Wow, Daddy, Shields, I was just kidding. Why are you getting so grumpy all of a sudden? Who hurt you? Why don't you go ask the dojo just opened down the street? That huge building? I've seen people talking about it on social media. What about it? Hmm, yeah. They took all my customers. That's what. It seems like martial arts is a new trend among young people nowadays. I mean, I get it. The world is getting crazier and scarier. So it makes sense that they want to learn something to protect themselves against the bad guy. Ah, the Cobra Kai effect. Everybody wants to become a Kung Fu master after the series comes out. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm happy for them. But seeing fewer and fewer people coming here from memberships to realize that no one likes lifting now, it hurts. Oh, don't cry, Mr. Hui. It's just a trend. After the fever goes down, Telecom will be crowded again. Believe me, the stance of those lifters will be all over the restroom sooner than you think. For how long? If you can't hold up until then, Telecom will be out of business for good. Too risky. Unless I can hire somebody who can teach martial arts right now, or else I'll go bankrupt. Hi. Where on earth can I find a master in such a short time? Master in martial arts? That sounds like something that Sa could do. What if I tell you I can get you one by tomorrow? I'll allow you to marry my son. Seems you've just got yourself a deal, father-in-law. Trust me, you're gonna love him. Only if he's the real deal and save us through this hard time. Then we can think about the wedding, my perhaps son-in-law. Um, didn't we want the son to become a coach here since the TTT? But why now? Huh. Doesn't wearing your armor in this burning weather make you nuts? A good way to trade endurance, don't you think? Hui wants to make sure the Sark qualifies for the job by challenging him to a rematch. So this facility is where I'll teach martial arts from now on. You fulfilled my request in a brief. Wish I knew how to repay your favor, Freko. Please, there's no need to be so ceremonious, the Sark. We are friends after all. Some of your gold bars would do just fine. Eh? So this is the guy you were talking about, Freko? Mr. Hui, when did you... Yes, do you remember the Sark? Yeah! How can I forget the champion of TTT? Surprise, surprise! I didn't think we would meet again in this circumstance. After TTT ended, I invited you to become a coach at Telecom here, but you turned down my offer. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I had a lot of personal things to deal with back then. I couldn't teach someone when my mind was in turmoil. Oh. So coming back here proved that you figured everything out for yourself. Still train every day, kiddo. Yeah. Training is my primary concern, as always, sir. Very well. Then let's do a quick match to see if that's true, shall we? The rule is simple. You lose, go home. You win, you're in. Ha! Huh. Show me all you got. Don't hold back because I'm old. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Hey yo! Huh? What? What the? Yeah, what the? That's so easy. Or the sun is too good, or who is too... you know... <laughs> I knew you were trying to get on top of me, but not this time, Mr. Hui. How did you know? Perhaps try to hide your foot movement more next time if you want to ride on someone's back. Or else, it can backfire and make you the bottom. Damn it, I got locked. You got some tricks, kid. But this doesn't mean I already accepted my defeat. If you want to win, 
you have to do it the old-fashioned way. Huh? The old-fashioned way? What is the old-fashioned way, Freco? Uh, here, let me clear that up for you. Uh, 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 you can't. Phew. As a man of my word, you're hired starting tomorrow. And please change your clothes to gym the sack or something that looks more professional. Your laser armor is too much for a mentor. That's right, show your skin more. Oh. I will keep that in mind. Remember to guide your students to the right path. Teach them to protect themselves and others. Or else they'll end up becoming bullies and thugs. In this case, you should worry about them turning subs instead of becoming doms, hui. Alright, Jim the Thug it is. Now I wonder, how will the Thug teach his students? Do you know what the other end is, Thug? No, sir. Yeah. I can smell that you don't. As the Thug is about to become Telecom's employee, a guy from nowhere suddenly appears and spills the tea about what Hui did. Ahem. Mr. Hui, I have arrived. Ah, this outfit is so good. Do you agree? That's like right on time. I like this new look of yours. <laughs> Kidding is showing though, but I don't think people will notice. Yet, that was the first thing you looked at. What's the plan for today, Mr. Hui? Hmm. I and Asa will talk about what he is going to teach here. Arrange them into lessons for each day until we have a complete course. Meanwhile, you, Freka, will be in charge of advertising on social media. Why do I always have to work for free? Aren't you my son-in-law? Stop whining. Eh? Freko, is that you? But... Who are you? What... What are you doing here? Well, well, well. Looks like you guys are having fun. And where did you find such a fun, gorgeous man, Hui? What's your name? The... The thug. <laughs> It's you again. Still don't know when to give up. Not until I got the answer I want. I've already told you. No means no. What's with the tension between you and him? Not to mention he looks exactly like me. I'm just like you. I think that's true. You're just like me. Yes, I can see. Oh, you knew that song too? How can I not? I got a feeling we are going to get along. Oh. No, don't be fooled by his goofy behavior, Freko. This jerk is the manager of the new dojo. He is planning to expand the business by buying all the gyms in town. Now, you say it as if we are the baddies. We are doing a fair trade here, not like... Forcing you to quit. Huh. Drop the act already. I knew about those dirty things you have done to get your hand on those contracts. Dirty or not, that's a matter of perspective. I don't play vanilla when it comes to business. I suggest you should do the same if you want to stay in this industry. But I think my advice might be a bit too late for you. Too late? What is he talking about, Mr. Hui? Oh, didn't he tell you? He is drowning in debt. Like, a lot. In debt? Why? Because of telecom debt. Don't you know Mr. Hui has run from door to door asking for loans just to keep this place running? Why does he need so much money for... I mean, this is just... a gym. Which is located in the city center. Can you imagine the rent he has to pay for a massive place like Telecom every single month? 
Don't forget you also need money for machine maintenance, electricity, water, and stuff. Thanks to inflation, they keep getting higher and higher. That's a lot of money. Right? While the cost keeps getting higher and higher due to inflation, Mr. Hui membership fee almost remains the same. Do the math. Now you understand why Hui is in debt? Well, isn't it obvious? I know Mr. Hui never cared about money, but... Then I'm sure you have seen him struggling with his finances at least once, have you not? Y yeah TDT also happened for this reason. Hi. So what? I opened this gym because I love bodybuilding, not for making money. And look where it leads you. As you keep running a business without profit, sooner or later, if it wasn't for me, Telecom would fall into the hands of someone else. And I'm positive that that deal is not as good as mine. How bored of you to talk as if I've already been brought down to my knees. As long as I'm still breathing, I will find a way to save Telecom. <laughs> Suck at your deal somewhere else, punk, cause this pet is not for sale. What a fighter. That's what I like about you, Hui. Just think about my offer, in case you change your mind. Bye bye for now. Just get off already! Ugh, the jerk is getting on my nerves. Hui, I know you hate him, but what he said wasn't wrong. If you don't quickly pay off your debt before it causes interest, we are dead. How can we manage to fight such a large amount of money in a short time? Stop being so pessimistic. Did you forget we still have the duck? If his martial arts class succeeds, they will buy us some time. Hmm. I guess. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Uh, that guy, Dazak, what are you doing? Again? What happened in this telecom? Why do people always do this? Let it out. Clear the mind. Let it out. Clear the mind, let it out, clear the mind. Let it out and clean the floor as well. The Zark meets the stranger again. The dojo now is just for the two of them. What will they do to each other? You are sweaty all over. I bet you just finished teaching, hmm? So sexy. Hmm. Hi, still remember me? If you're looking for Mr. Hui, you're out of luck. He's not here at the moment. Actually, the reason I came here today is you, Thak. Ha! <laughs> Me? To what do I owe the honor? Last time we didn't have much chance to talk, so... <clears throat> Excuse me for being rude, but are you trying to befriend me? If this is one of your tricks to get your head on telecom, I don't think we have much to talk about. Well, clearly my impression the first time we met was not that good. Okay, I'll get straight to the point. You enjoy being treated like a dog, don't you? Huh? By your reaction, I was right when I raised it all. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea where you get that nonsense. Come now, there's no need to be ashamed. I know you are tired of pretending to be decent and elegant by society's standards. I know the way people treat you with respect and friendliness makes you sick. Deep down, all you dream of is someone who can make you obey like a sheep guy. Someone who can satisfy the most filthy, disgusting lust of you. Someone who owns you. How can a man whom I just met see right through me? Pigs recognize each other pretty quickly. 
As you can see, I'm a sub just like you. Sub? I'm not gonna spend my whole day explaining sub and dumb to you. Just know that you and I have the same king. That's enough. Anyway, where is your master, Thak? He, he's gone. Shoot, sorry about that. You must have missed him a lot. Yeah. There isn't a day that I don't think of him. Then, then, don't lose hope. I'm sure one day you'll find a man who will treat you like a dog, just like who you are. Until then, wanna have sex with me? I beg your pardon. Come on, it's not easy to find someone who has the same fetish, especially a hot guy like you. If I have one more boring normal vanilla sex, my sexual orientation is gonna change into a sexual. I can't be your master, but I promise we will have some nasty, disrespectful time together. <laughs> what do you want? Pissed on me. Kneel down. Uh uh uh, you can't. After all, my needs have been fulfilled, I feel so refreshed. <laughs> if only that moment could last longer. There are still so many things I want to try. Don't talk like we will never meet each other again. It's not like they are going to get rid of me forever as soon as this story ends. I'm too fab. <laughs> Perhaps I think too much. No matter how hard it is, I will get back to you. Promise. <laughs> Please don't take Telecom away from Mr. Hui. I won't. In fact, I never had the intention to buy this place from the start. What? Then what was the real reason for all of this? I was hormonal, and Mr. Hui is quite a dropout when he gets angry, don't you think? To be honest, I made this prank as a wake up call for Hui. He'd better focus on doing business if he wants to keep Telecom. Oh. So you truly wanted to help him? Duh. I personally have to go down here pointing every his financial problem like an idiot. What do you think? Soon I will close my dojo and introduce all my students to Telecom. If they all sign up for your martial arts course, and you raise your membership fee to at least 34%, we just needs less than 3 months to pay off all his debts. Whether my predictions can come true or not, it's up to you guys. Let's keep this between us. I don't think we will be happy if he discovers our secret. And seriously, tell that man to get an accountant. He's too old for this stuff. What about you? Without your dojo, where will you go? I have 14 apartment buildings that I own, so probably one of those. Don't worry, we are definitely gonna meet again. I can feel it. As for now, goodbye, Thak. Goodbye. I think I still don't know what his name was. Oh, Mr. X, I thought you were bad guy, but... Are you? Well, you have some goodness in you because you might be Freckle in multiverse, right? Because you have another apartment building and it might be named like Romance Condo. Well, who knows? And now we are on our way to see Firefighter Way. He's just a man and he's on fire. <laughs> Please, Mr. Firefighter, put out the fire of lust in me. Oh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Hotter than a fantasy, lonely like a highway. Why did you stop dressing as a firefighter, way? 
<laughs> uh, uh. Oh, I got burnt out. <laughs> Firemen and strippers do have one thing in common. They are pretty good in using poles. If a fireman offers you two ways to escape your burning house, always take the ladder. What is a fireman's greatest dream, I wonder? Hmm. Probably a wet one. What is the worst thing that can happen to a fireman, I wonder? To be fired, I suppose. Firefighters are always in heat, aren't they? <laughs> That's why I have to take off some restricting clothing to cool myself. They call me fireman because I turn on the holes. Where? What kind of work does a fireman do? For your work. <clears throat> for your fathers are people who put their life in danger to save others. They should have seen as heroes, not for sexualizing. You lecture too much for a character in a porn setting, but okay. And time for Dickens. Worker Dickens. Redneck Worker Dickens. <sighs> Me and my co-worker are heading to the pubs for what I feel drinks tonight. Hope I'm not gonna get hammered. Oh, what work do you do as a worker, I wonder? Some folks like hooking up with their labor workers, cause they think the dumb ones part the hardest. <laughs> hey, I don't mind being the stupid one as long as I get laid. No. Gotta love the portable toilet at my side. No one cares about your tether there. Just don't forget to flush after you're done. Yeah! Gym is overrated. If I want to get that pump, I'll just do loading and uploading cement bags for 8 hours straight. We brick layers who really know how to party. Everywhere we go, we always rest in a roof. Always have a number 3 Robertson head, no slip screwdriver in my pocket. You never know when it comes in handy. <laughs> you don't gotta go to work, 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 work. We can walk from home. Oh, oh, oh. It's nice to see how they represent construct workers in the envy. But please get somebody show them how to use those tools correctly. Wouldn't know the difference between a chemist and a hothead. Ask them to pronounce unionized. No. <laughs> a guy at work asked if he could rub my pants in exchange for what a boba tea. What the hell was he thinking? By the way, that shit tastes better than I thought. <laughs> Why well, are you giving that look, pal? Did my big bad driver impress you that much? Time for Dickens' new artworks. <laughs> it's poking my eyes. <sighs> okay. Oh, so refreshing. Some cool beer after a long ride. It's kind of good, don't you think? Especially with someone this hot. Really good. And oh. <laughs> poked my eyes again but wow him from this point of view is kind of yeah really sexy and that's all for this update thank you so much for watching see you again on the next update and hope you enjoy the hope you enjoy being a dog treated by a master but if you can't find any master i lord sinclair the one and only will be your master <laughs> bye bye if you want to watch more videos, so hit the like, share and subscribe.
And don't forget to ring the bell. <laughs>